So hello there, my name is Collins Kennedy Mensah. I am a second year undergraduate student and I study criminal justice and criminology at the University of Kent. Today there's a lecture on post-colonial Paris introduced by David Garbin. Well, we're talking about um, how France colonised Algeria and the relationship between the two countries and just the brief history of the post-colonial system in France. Then, as I said, we look at museums as particular sites, right, um, of what I would call frictions, zones of contact between temporalities, between also different kind of people, also between representations, images of migrants, of the past, but also of the nation. Muse museums are important windows into how sort of the nation th uh, thinks about itself. Uh, museums are, in the history of nations, museums you know, uh, occupy a very important place. Uh, they often link to the construction of a particular kind of nationalism. And you know, what applies to Paris you know, can easily be also um, applied to uh, museums in, in other cities like London. But it's also for you to consider how space and place has a role to play in the making of a city. Okay? So we're not only looking at people in their environment, but we're also looking at how the environment, has a, the, the urban fabric, the urban landscape, Right, is also driving particular ways of being and belonging in the city. And the interesting thing about this museum is that it's a trace of the past, because it was built in a colonial uh, period. So it's, we, can, we can reflect on the links between the past and the present. My name's Andrew. I'm studying a master's uh, in sociology at the University of Kent. Um, with a specific uh, research area of looking at uh, constructions and expressions of nationality and identity among the Greek Cypriot diaspora in London. Um, we're here today um, on the summer school in the National uh, History of Immigration at the Museum in Paris. And uh, behind me here we've got this uh, monument depicting colonial uh, occupation of the uh, Congo. Um, what I think is really striking about this is that you can really clearly see that this is supposedly a celebration of um, French colonial past. It doesn't seem to, they're not depicting any conflicts, they're not depicting any, um, any sort of harsh uh, treatment. And once again, you can just clearly see the power differentials. So you've got the colonialists leading the way, leading the way into the future and looking very kind of important and, and powerful with the Africans kind of following in line. And I think that's, um, that's quite interesting when you think about how we think about colonialism and post-colonialism and uh, what it means today. So just upon approaching the uh, National History Museum uh, of Immigration in Paris, first impressions, um, you've got these depictions of African life, again quite exotic, you've got elephants, animals, um, people just sort of working in the rivers and streams collecting fruit. Perhaps the most striking thing you can probably notice are the uh, ships and uh, you can quite clearly see the colonialist uh, sort of uh, invasion there at the front where you've got a white man sitting down on a throne with his feet on native Africans, which I think is quite a powerful imagery of, of what it must be. But what perhaps what is most interesting is how this is a celebration of that and not necessarily a depiction of the evils and horrors that a lot of people must have experienced. We're at the museum, which focuses on the history of immigration, focuses on various things ranging from sport to the conditions during that time. So it just shows that conditions are really tight and conditions are really poor. And it just, it just symbolises how difficult it was during that, during that era. David's lecture was brilliant because before you go into a museum, it really helps to learn about the history of what it is you're going to do. And I didn't have any context of the kind of migrational histories, the migrational patterns of Paris. Even from the 70s onwards, you had a massive influx of refugees, people from Southeast Asia, Vietnam, after the the, the Vietnam War, uh, Laos, Cambodia, and you also had, from the 1980s onwards, a lot of refugees coming from Africa, 
uh, former Yugoslavia, right? So you had a globalization, what we call a globalization of migration. Looking at space, um, David's lecture helped us understand how migrants came to initial to transitional zones, um, and that often meant um, uh, a different kind of demographic between different areas in Paris. And so situating the history of Paris and the history of migration really helped understand what it was that we were seeing in this museum. The debrief was interesting because uh, we looked at how uh, space is negotiated in the museum. So particularly we spoke about how the museum is situated itself in a building that was constructed to celebrate um, the French colonies and the French Empire. It was constructed in 1931. Whereas the, we, we spoke about the juxtaposition with what was going on in the inside and how that was trying to challenge, or rather that was the aim of the, of the museum, was to challenge these ideas and to question them and to deconstruct them. Thank you.